welcome. Welcome to Vanadium. I'm Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. One of the biggest, most promising, and also most difficult and daring science experiments is about to begin on Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2021, just a few days after this video debuts. The James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to launch and begin its mission, one that has been in the making since 1996, relying on the effort of thousands of people from more than 17 countries. The project has required nearly 100 million work hours of people's lives. The James Webb, or J-West, is not only the largest, most complex, and powerful space telescope ever constructed, it's a Rocky Balboa story of setbacks, delays, and financial troubles. The telescope fabrication was nearly scrapped after the financial crisis in 2008. Only a few weeks ago, there was a mishap where sensitive sensors and equipment were nearly destroyed. The launch had to be delayed from November because of this. But the James Webb just keeps on trucking. From my old stomping grounds in Redondo Beach, California, all the way to Corral, French Guiana, located near the equator for the launch, the spin of the Earth helps give the rockets a little extra push. This miracle machine has come a long way. People often think of the James Webb as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, but this next generation marvel is more than just Hubble 2.0. And Hubble set the bar pretty high. Just a quick list of some of its major contributions to science. The Hubble helped pin down the age of the universe, which is now known to be 13.8 billion years, also roughly three times the age of the Earth. It discovered two moons of Pluto called Nix and Hydra. The Hubble helped determine the rate the universe is expanding. It discovered that nearly every major galaxy is anchored by a black hole at its center. The Hubble also created a 3D map of dark matter clusters surrounding the Earth. In many ways, the Hubble Space Telescope is also a time machine, looking deep into space to find the faintest flickers of ancient starlight. With a mirror twice the size, the James Webb will be a hundred times more powerful than that. Astronomers are placing bets and staying up at night wondering about what we'll see. The light of stars and galaxies billions of light years away travels to us through an expanding universe, causing the visible light to stretch into the infrared J. West's infrared sensitivity makes it an even more powerful time machine that will look back over 13 and a half billion years to a time just a hair after the Big Bang. If you think about it, when we observe something a million light years away, what we're seeing is actually how it looked a million years ago. The light we're seeing took a million years to arrive. This is looking back in time. The primary mirror of the J-West consists of 18 hexagonal segments made of gold-plated beryllium, which combine to create a 6.5 meter or 21 foot diameter mirror. This is considerably larger than the Hubble's 8 foot mirror. Unlike the Hubble telescope, which observes in ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared spectra, the J-West is sensitive in a lower frequency range, from long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared. This allows it to detect high redshift objects that are too old and too distant for the Hubble to resolve. To gather images in the infrared spectrum, the J-West must be kept under minus 223 degrees Celsius or minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. If not, infrared light from the telescope itself would overwhelm its instruments. It therefore requires a large sun shield to block light and heat from the sun, earth, and moon. The sun shield consists of five layers, each about as thin as a human hair. The layers are made out of a special super tough plastic called Kapton E, coated with aluminum on both sides and doped silicon on the sun facing side in order to reflect the sun's heat back into space. The sun shield is designed to be folded 12 times in order to fit within the rocket's payload fairing, which is about four and a half meters or 15 feet in diameter. Once the telescope blasts off on the rocket into space and reaches its destination, it will unfold to about 14 by 21 meters, or 46 by 70 feet. The sun shield was actually built almost entirely by hand in Huntsville, Alabama, before being delivered to north of Grumman in Redondo Beach. And in 2018, the sun shield was accidentally torn during testing, causing a fairly serious delay to the entire project. The project began 
in 1996 for a launch first planned for 2007. The initial budget was $500 million before numerous delays and cost overruns. The entire program had to go through a nearly total redesign in 2005. The telescope construction was completed in late 2016. This is when the nearly equally difficult and time-consuming test phase began. Then, there was a rather famous pandemic, and work on integration and testing of the telescope had to be suspended in March of 2020. Testing eventually resumed and was complete in the middle of this year. On Christmas Eve, not long from now, it's all going to come together. The work of thousands of people over decades after facing nearly insurmountable challenges. I've heard people call the James Webb Space Telescope expensive. NASA's lifetime cost for the project is expected to be around $10 billion. It sounds like a lot. I definitely don't have that much in my wallet right now. But is it really when you think about it? To me, what we'll see and learn from the James Webb will make it a bargain, worth every penny. $10 billion is nothing in terms of corporate subsidies and padding for worthless legislation. $10 billion isn't even enough for a barbed wire fence in the desert. It's probably close to the Senate's catering budget. Don't let anyone tell you something like the James Webb is expensive. It's not expensive. It's necessary. It's a gift from humanity to humanity. The nice thing about the gift of something like this is that it's a gift to every generation and generations to come. It's something to bestow on our children other than pointless debt. Things like the James Webb Space Telescope give the cynics out there less evidence to cite when they try to prove that the whole world sucks. It's important to be more than just practical, to remember that the future doesn't have to be a dystopian hellhole. Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium.